to what, what does the girls who do the most CrossFit look like? They look like this girl here. Now, she's probably on all sorts of gear as well, but she looks like a motherfucking man, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. There's nothing wrong with that at all. If that's the look you're going for, you're going for that thick roid jaw and the thick traps and that, you know, that, there's nothing wrong with that at all, all right? I'm not here to roid shame or anything like that. I'm just saying, if that's your look, if that's what you're into, Totally, 100% not trolling. If that's what you're into, CrossFit is perfect for that. Most girls that I train coach, freely included, prefer the slim look. Now let's, let's be fair, let's look at female cyclist doping. So we have a famous cyclist here, I uh, forget her name, but she was caught doing steroids. She's still pretty thin. She's got the man jaw, which is a dead giveaway. Dead giveaway. So she's got the man jaw there. She got caught steroids, but she under that suit, she's pretty thin, isn't she? Let's see. It. Let's see if we can find another example. So we have this cycle here, Gina Longo. Now she hasn't been caught with doping. I don't think so anyway. But she's won a lot of races, and her husband. Now she's old, older as well. She's like close to fifty. But look at her. She's fucking lean as fuck. Look how skinny her fucking arms are and skinny her legs are. All right. So she does a lot of riding on the bike. Her husband got caught with drugs recently. Now, if your husband gets caught with drugs and you're a fucking champion athlete, it doesn't take much IQ to link them to. But she's never been caught. But anyway, she's skinny as and she's fucking like almost 50. So well, the point of the matter is, what's good for weight loss? Now, I'm using Jeannie Longo because she's been riding for fucking almost 40 years. All right? So is cycling good for weight loss? Does cycling give you a big... Legs, big upper body. It doesn't. It fucking slims you the fuck out. So we're looking at Jeannie here. Let's look at another example of a cyclist who hasn't been caught for drugs, who's relatively young, all right? hasn't been trained for that long. Here we have Lizzie. Well, let's have a look at a cyclist who hasn't been caught for the gear, who rides a bike. She's pretty young. She's vegan, vegetarian. She follows freely on social media. And she's a current world champion. This is what she looks like in civvy clothes. This is what she looks like in cycling clothing. And uh, another shot. So she's a, a lean bean. She's a lean bean. She's a carbon the fuck up cyclist lean bean. All right. So CrossFit is great. If you want the, the big look, get on the CrossFit. If you want the, the slim look, the freely look, get on your bike. Get on your bike. There you go. It's a city clothing look. So is this girl, she's current world champion. Is she fucking big? Is she have... No, she's not. She's fucking a lean bean. One more shot, and then we'll move on. I think the pro... You get, the, you get my point. You get my point. Here we go. Is it action shot? Does cycling make your legs big? Does it make your arms big? Look, there's, there's a, the down tube of the bike, which is skinny. It's almost as big as her arms. And it's just... You know what I mean? There you go. Case closed. Cycling versus CrossFit, whatever, you, whatever your goal is. If your goal is to be big and chunky looking, get on the CrossFit, no cycling. If your goal is to slim down, look more like Lizzie or Freely, get on the bike. Simple as that. It's not open properly. Oh, thanks, Good girl. Good girl, bitch. Good girl. Hey. Good girl. Good girl. This is very awkward. <laughs> What else are we going to do?